Hey, I'm Brett, and I'm here with Dan Pallone, who is the founder and president of Element 84, a software development and consulting company. I know yep. you guys do tons of cloud development. Um, we're talking about data stores today and really kind of breaking down what that means in the cloud. There are tons of free databases, there are tons of cheap databases, and then there are high-end databases. Why in the world do I not want to use one of these sort of tried and true solutions and, and spend time on this video and on the data store service? Right, because you don't need to care, right? No matter which one of those you pick, the, the cheap free ones, mm -hmm. um, the crazy expensive ones, you're going to have to install this and set it up and get all that stuff going, maintain it, admin it, back it up, right? All that goes away when you move it up into, in our case, we're using the Google App Engine data store, but when you move it up onto like a cloud platform infrastructure right there, it just, it Some maintainability and I guess scalability, scalability all that stuff. Scalability, reliability, um, the, the backup and maintenance security, uh, patching, all that fun stuff that you have to maintain if you control your database, right. you don't have to deal with. Now how does that work with, with tuning? Because as I think about connection pooling mm -hmm. and I think about back in my Oracle days, you know, with triggers and all this. I mean, we were doing all these things to try and make it hum. Do I lose, okay, I gain not having to deal with these certain things. Do I lose the ability to tune it? Yes and no. Um, and this is going to depend on your cloud platform a little bit. So we're talking App Engine. Sure. Um, you're going to lose some control. You're going to lose some ability to tune. Um, and, and, but in other ways, you're going to be forced into some patterns that basically Google has proven out are highly scalable. Really? And so things like indexes, not only are you going to be able to use indexes, you're going to be forced into using indexes. The queries you're allowed to do are going to be controlled and constrained a little bit to, against designed for performance um, okay. over flexibility. Okay, very nice. And so let's, I know we're, we're taking an app that's existing and kind of building up. Let's look at what we're going to build so we can kind of see where we're going, right? Okay. Good. Transactions. We're going to deal with the the data store service. Mm -hmm. So walk me through the app and how those particular features kind of show up and manifest in this thing. Sure. So uh, first thing we're going to do, we're going to take the restaurants that we have hard coded in here. We're going to push right. those into the data store. Okay. So in order to do that, we're going to, have to talk about entities. We're going to talk about um, kind of JPA markup things like okay. that and how to persist that data. In JPA there. is what uh, the Java Persistence Architecture. Okay. And is that how you talk to the the data store service, right? That's how we're going to talk to the data store, yes. You okay. could also go natively, and we'll talk a little bit about why we would pick one framework over another. Okay. Um, so we're going to push those into the, the data store. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to need to pull those back out and make this a dynamic page okay. so that we show you know what the actual restaurants and things like that. Now, one of the things that jumps out, because I, I'm sort of a web developer background, not a Google App Engine, is are we going to be able to test all this data access locally? Sure. Yep, we're going to use the local version of the SDK. Um, and it has a local data store. So it provides sort of a, a, a data store backing that you can test yep. with. Yep. From the from our implementation perspective, it's it's going to look exactly the same. We'll t we'll build it locally. We'll okay. test everything locally. Then we'll push it to the so cloud. So very different from the work. kind of you have to have the database engine running on your own machine. Mm -hmm. So Google App Engine takes care of all of that. Yep. So we're using this again to for as a developer okay. the ease of infrastructure needs okay. on our side. So right? we can add restaurants. What yep. else on this thing? And so um, when we update this to dynamically pull those restaurants out, then we're going to start running into some of the scalability stuff that comes out of the App Engine, where kind of it starts influencing how we build the app. Like we're going to okay. have to talk about indexes. We're going to have to talk about uh, how you actually query because we're not going to be using SQL anymore. Okay. Um, or not at all. We're going to be using SQL. Um, and so basically, how do we interact with the data store? Find okay. the elements. So you don't we want. use SQL to interact with the right. data store. Yep. Okay. Yep. And then um, once we get through that, uh, we'll introduce comments on restaurants. Okay. And so comments are about a restaurant right. or related Just to a user restaurant. User text that they can enter. In fact, what we'll do okay. is we'll add a nice form here that they can click on and okay. enter these uh, enter comments. And um, what we're going to have to talk about there is the idea of entity groups and transactions, and basically how the scalability and making sure you don't, since you don't have locking on the database, um, how do you deal with you scalability? You don't have locking for, on You're not going to have locking. And so basically, okay. how do you deal with consistency and multiple objects related to each other and you know parenting and who owns what and cascading deletes and all that kind of stuff? So I'm hearing a lot of things that sound kind of like the database world I'm familiar with, but then kind of aren't. I mean, is that right. is that, that going to be yeah, a lot yeah. of what we're talking about? We're, we're going to follow that theme all the way through. It's going to be database-ish. Okay. Um, but so not, not SQL, really. not database, not locking. Right. But SQL like. You're still going to solve all these kinds of classic data, database 
data store mm -hmm. problems. Yep, and we're going to do our best to solve them in a way that if you wanted to pull out of the App Store, or the App Store, uh, out of the App Engine, mm -hmm. um, and port this to you know, Oracle or something else, that you'd be able to do that. Okay, Where okay. and can. then you mentioned transactions. That's the one thing that you haven't talked about. Where do transactions come into play in this app and, and just in general with that? So engine? we're going to use them in this app because um, like we have those two entities. We're going to have to deal with consistency. We're going to have to deal with basically how do you avoid colliding with someone or when you do uh, collide, what do you do? So this is the classic, do do? I'm working on it, someone else is working on it. Mm -hmm. How do we deal with yep. multiple versions being committed to the not, I guess not committed-ish to the committed. database-ish. Yep. yep. All right, so we're going to get into all that, though. Ish. Okay, very nice. All right, thanks.